Hi, in this short video, we'll be looking at deploying your decision trees. So I'm going to go through and just uh, first from the decision trees menu, I'm going to go and select this particular one, which is I'm editing, pressing the pencil icon there. And this is the decision tree that I want to go and embed. Now, this is the direct link version. And if I just go ahead and open that, what the direct link version will always show you is, um, is uh, it's going to be showing you on the on your lead took account URL. So in this case, I'm in my development environment, so it's test one dot leadtook.com. In your case, it'll be uh, your account name dot leadtook.io. Uh, this is the version that we normally play around with for testing and development only. You do not want to ever drive traffic to this, except if it's your house list and you're comfortable sending them to a direct link that looks like this. Uh, otherwise, um, do, you, you don't want to drive any paid traffic or cold traffic to this because it does not have your terms and policies, um, privacy policy, uh, and a top nav bar. So if you are driving paid traffic, you're probably going to get uh, probably going to get a bad um, or account cancelled or, or, or campaign or, dis or ads disapproved or something. Okay? So you normally don't want to send paid traffic to anything without um, that is not compliant. Right, so, but if it's your house list and you want to do a quick uh, decision tree to them or a quick offer, uh, by all means, send them through to this because that way they're coming from an email and uh, it's really not an issue in terms of having your privacy policy and th things of that sort. Still good practice, but you can get away with it. All right, now to show you what to do in terms of uh, what to do with the code. So that's the direct link version. The next thing is the embed version, which is this one here. This you can just copy and paste that onto your site. Now, if you notice, there's a preview button over here. So the preview button always tells Leads Hook not to capture the data, even if you've activated it, because we can't log into your wherever you embedded it and remove this for you. So if you ever activate, it's important that you remove this particular bit of code over here, which is data dash preview equals true. That tells Leads Hook not to use the CDN and it indicates not to capture the data. So there's two ways of doing it. You can either manually go and remove this uh, from the uh, from wherever you've embedded your decision tree, or click that off, in which case it removes it, and copy and paste this again. So it's simple as that. Just copy that and go ahead and paste that wherever you want to, on whichever web website on the planet that accepts, uh, that accepts embed codes. And so that's how you go about embedding it uh, into your decision tree and to for, for to go live and to capture data, please be sure to tick the preview button off or tick the preview button off over here and uh, and be sure to remove the um, the uh, the data preview equals true. So basically this particular variable needs to be removed. And that is how you go live with your with your decision trees. The same thing on the direct link side, be sure to remove that because if you have a look at it, it's question mark preview equals true. That has to be turned off um, if you want to copy and paste. Otherwise, you can always manually go and remove that off. Uh, but here's what's going to happen. If that is on, uh, uh, your website won't be viewable from uh, from any third parties. It'll, it'll be view you'll be able to view it because your current browser is being cookied, that you're an admin, and it will show you a decision tree that looks like this. Most of the time, it'll also display an ugly banner on top to indicate to you that you currently are not tra tracking any data. So that way you don't run any paid traffic to it or any kind of traffic to it. I right, hope that explains the difference between embedding uh, and, uh, and direct linking and the importance of removing preview equals true from the direct link version and the embed version when you want to get live traffic to it and start capturing data. All right, thank you and bye for now.